Here right, I Darius, you just put me through to the finance team. Thank you. Hi lads, it's the boss here. I was just, just wanted to talk to really about the uh, finances and what's really... Uh, okay. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Office jobs are a bit stressful apparently. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the road to random. We need to talk about the finances because it really isn't going well. I've hinted at it a couple of times in other episodes. I haven't really shown you it yet. So let's take a look and as you can see we are £40,000 in debt this season. Um, I, I honestly don't understand how we are spending so much money. I'm in the wage budget which is a really high wage budget as it is. I don't know why they give me that much. They have so I'm in wage budget. I've got no transfer budget because I've, I've, I have moved it about as well just to make it the wage budget of course but I'm, I'm I'm doing what I can looking at what we're making as well if you look at the income I've made 45,000 in prize money this season thanks to this FA Cup run 45,000 we are 40 grand in debt and I've made 45,000 in, in prize money yeah your answers on a postcard looking at the expenditure i mean match day expenses we spend five grand a month on match day expenses how it's 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 a bizarre bizarre thing looking at the projection i mean it gets worse the end of this season we're expected to be hundred and eighty thousand pounds in debt Three hundred and fifty-four thousand pounds in debt the next season after, and a five hundred, what five hundred nineteen, five hundred twenty thousand pounds. It's a ridiculous amount of debt. How? This is how. Turnover. This is the money we make. One hundred and seventy-eight thousand. This is the money we spend. That is where we are losing our money. That is a problem. On to some really interesting news though i have received some job offers curzon ashton fc eastley fc both from the uh, national league i think in the conference vanarama national league uh yeah as you can see here eastley are in the vanarama national i'm pretty sure curzon ashton are too or they may be just below um but they're in higher in the pyramid than us is my point to make both are coming for me, not the first teams actually, I had a couple of others that I can't remember who they were now, but they also came in for me, wanting to offer me a job interview for their vacant job, and I'm like, nope, and uh, no. Nope. White leaf till I die, or at least till the end of the save, those are the rules, you know, um, it's not really going to be a long save, but obviously the uh, new game has been out for a bit well now, and I sort of have a deal with my mother that, I will be having the game at Christmas. It's it's a it's a present she can get me because it's hard to get Christmas presents when you get this age. Hard to think of them, so I I don't buy it beforehand. So you're gonna have to wait till just after Christmas for um, the new game and the new stage. I've got ideas. I've got ideas. Um, those will, those will be revealed in due time. But we have job interviews. How that's pretty cool. Today, talking of finances and a cut run. And, and the money that comes from it today is a pretty, pretty huge game. Cheltenham, FA Cup second round. Can we make the third round where the big boys really come in? That's the question. The money will be huge, especially if we get a TV tie in the third round. But we have to get through this one first. We come into it in a bit of bad form, actually. We lost 1-0 to Leatherhead there. Um, yeah, it just really wasn't a good game. Even that goalkeeper got a knock at one point. Um, and then a 0-0 nil -nil at Stones Town. Again, just really wasn't a good game, not really performing. Um, since since we left off with the Sutton game, we did win two games though. We are through Nears Mean League Club, Danny Boyd got two, Jesse Wallace got the winner against Harlow in the league. So really we need to bounce back from those two results against a really, really tough Cheltenham side today. How are they getting on this season? Not really very well. They are 21st in Sky Bet League 2 in the relegation place. It's in a relegation race. So I'm sure they probably won't want a cup run because um, it might 
sort of interfere with their League 2 form. Lots of reds there, lots and lots of reds. But what you will notice, even with the reds, they score goals. They do score goals. And that, that three results there is, is, is really, really good, isn't it? Crew Blackpool, Blackpool as well. To beat Blackpool 3-1 is, is impressive. Billy Waters and Dan Holman are names that come up quite a lot here. So we'll have to watch out for them. They lost in their last game though. So then again, we, haven't, we aren't in great form either. So hopefully we can pick something up here. We're the away side, so that means no tickets. <sighs> Unfortunately, Wadden Road is the host of the game. FA Cup second round. Let's do this. It's worth pointing out the uh, rest of the draw for the second round. And I mean, if you really look at it, our tie away to Cheltenham is probably the most sort of high profile cup tie. Like, you know what I mean? Like David versus Goliath sort of thing. I mean, there's Oldham versus Hampton and Richmond Borough there. Very similar sort of thing. Orient, Nantwich Town, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing much else. Lincoln City. Unfortunately, there's no cup ties again. I'm not sure whether this is a bug in the football manager sort of thing or whether cup ties only come in in the third round. Definitely in real life, there are cup ties on TV in the second and first round for sure on BT and BBC. So I'm not quite sure what really is going on there. Could have done with the money, so I'm a bit disappointed. Okay, then the two teams and looking at their formation, we've really hit the big time. It's a football league club and a football league club means some weird, weird tactics. They're playing three at the back, two wing backs. Two, mid two midfield and then one behind the two strikers. It's it's a very sort of complicated formation. It's not that ours isn't really for our level, but I don't know if we'll be able to cope with the wing backs today. Maradona and Smith have got to track back and I'm not sure whether they'll be able to do it. Then again, they might be able to dominate um, with Maradona and Smith pushing forward, pushing them backwards. Maybe, who knows? Um for us we have, we have Smith in goal, Lee, he comes in at left back again, Waddle and Pace in the centre back positions, Pace is the skipper and I really want to keep him in the squad, the coaches don't like him, I think he's the worst centre back, but I'm like, he's the skipper, he plays, Josh Pasley on the right, Joey Jones, Price and Rooney again, midfield trio as always, Maradona on the right, Smith on the left gets the game, um, Johnny Smith's played very well, so I want to give him the game over Masungu and of course Danny Boy up front, on the bench you've got Paris McCormick, Evans, Wallace, and Musungu, and Taylor Crossdale, just in case things go wrong. Hopefully they won't. Let's get to kick off. Okay, then they kick us off in the red. Um, I don't really know what to expect here because they could absolutely pulverise us being a better side, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Davis is cross early. Probably got it on a little too quick, actually. I'm going to just speed that down. That's a foul in a bad position from Rooney there. Speed that down a bit. Their free kick, this is the highlight actually in the first minute. Munzi's free kick, oh, it's brilliant. Oh my god! Jack Munns with a free kick, what, 50 seconds into the game? I mean, it's a good free kick. Very, very good free kick. Yeah. What a start. Nathan Rooney's the captain. Hey, he's meant to be hurt. What is this? And then Rooney's got a booking as well. He's not having a good game so far. It's wide to bathroom and it's a penalty kick, for God's sake. Johnny Smith has fouled him. It's a penalty kick. They are all over us in the opening 10 minutes. This is not going well. Holman to take. It's saved by Smith. Could that be the turnaround? We need to build now. We need to get the confidence back in the team. Because we have not started well. Two bookings in the first 10 minutes as well. Well, they have a long throw from O'Shaughnessy. Keeper came and didn't get there. And it's Holman's shot. It's gone in from Munns. It's, it's falling apart. Jack Munns has got two. Cheltenham have two. And the way this is going, this could end up six and seven. We just can't handle them right now. I really don't know what's going on. Solid defence all season has fell apart. Free kick you can't do much about apart from not conceding in a stupid position. But the, the long throw the goalkeeper came did nothing with it. We don't even look like getting back into the game, unfortunately. Corner for them. Munns with it. Boyle's got a free header and Smith's tipped it over. Poor defending again. Look at him unmarked at the back post. Oh my lord. Munns will keep it alive. He's crossed into Holman. And it's our free kick for our side. I thought it was another penalty there. That was panic. That was a panic. 2 0 down at half time. Not winning the game. Defended poorly. Phil Brazier goes, we're doing well so far. Tell the players to keep it up in the second half. 
I don't care if they're a football league club. We are not playing well. We're making them look like bloody Barcelona. I I expect to see a much better showing. Thank you. What, do you not care, Maradona? You, you've too big time. No. Um, he's at, what's he on? He's 6.6. He's one of our better players, actually. This isn't very much. You weren't that bad, but I still believe you can improve. Yeah, that's, that's all green. Good. Good. Still making changes, though. Don't care. Um, Rooney's coming off. He's not having a good game. Let's stick two up front. Um, let's stick two in midfield. Stick Jones as a ball winning midfielder. And right, so McCormick or Taylor Craft McCormick. It's got to be McCormick, hasn't it? Stick McCormick on. Um, and Masungu can come on because James Smith can see to the penalty, so let's punish him. Harry Pace is a worry at centre back. He's a worry at centre back on the yellow card. Hopefully, the change to 4 4 2 will make a difference. It'll probably just, just leave us open, actually, wouldn't it? It would help if I changed it and went on attacking, probably, wouldn't it? It is not going to happen. We haven't created a thing. We have not created a thing. That's probably the most disappointing part of the game here. We haven't created a chance. At all. There it is then. Um, full time. Cheltenham 2. White Leaf nil. Probably a professional job from them. They, they've dominated the game. They've deserved the game. But it's just a disappointing sort of whimper. I just wanted us to fight. And sort of battle them. And if we, if we lost. Because we played very well. And we were unlucky. Then fair enough. Phil Brazier thinks we've done absolutely brilliantly. And gave everything we have. I don't think we have. I don't think so. I'm not happy. Just not happy with the performance. So, so disappointing. And it gets worse when you look at the FA Cup third round draw and who we would have faced a home tie against Championship side Reading. Ha! Think of the money. Think of the money. It's all about the money this episode. Um, all in all, to be fair, I think we can be very proud of our FA Cup run. I mean, especially if you look, let's get this filtered down into the FA Cup. If you look at the actual cut run, we have had a, a really, really good run in the qualifying. Harrogate Railway, we were expected to win. Ultranum was going to be a tough game. Stockport County, a very tough game, and we demolished them. Halifax, and then the two-legged tie against Sutton United. We have beat some very good sides, especially for the division. We should be proud of the run we've had. Cheltenham, probably just a step too far, especially at this point in the save. It's disappointing not to reach the third round once you've hit that second round, to be honest with you, especially with the big boys coming in. You know the big ties can have just one game away. We didn't make it, but I think we can be proud of our cup run. And you never know, we can sort of translate into some sort of league form and we can focus on the league title now because that's what we need this season, the league title, especially with the uh, gap that we had opened up. It's cut down a bit now, but we need to focus on that. Um, again, if we go back to the uh, all the competitions fixtures, I'm going to play a bit more. Um, I'm going to play these sort of games here. I'm going to come back for that game. Metropolitan Police away. I want revenge because they beat us this season. They beat us 2-0. I wasn't happy with that. I was not happy with that at all. I want revenge. We've only we've only actually lost in the league two games this season. Leatherhead and the uh, Metropolitan Police. So I'm going to get revenge against the police in the next episode. That's what's going to happen. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, why don't you like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. Should we be proud of that cup run? Um, how disappointing is it really to not get to that third round from a watcher's point of view? Um, Danny Boy, he seemed to have gone off the ball in the last couple of games. Any tips on how I can get him back onto it? Until next time, from me to you, goodbye.